Hey everybody, I hope you're well. This is a topic that we don't talk about enough and there's a lot of new people out there. So I wanted to share some feedback and advice on what to do when you find out someone's pen name. You might be thinking like, why is this a thing? And there's a couple different reasons why this is a thing. A lot of people will publish under a pen name to keep their success private, to lower competition, and to not saturate the market for the customer to be bombarded by a food journal, right? So if you're following anyone on Facebook, if you're following anybody that teaches KDP on YouTube, you will see that they share their screen sometimes. And in doing so, some influencers, some YouTubers haven't cleared their name properly. I have seen pen names. I've taken courses. I've bought courses from people where they accidentally give away enough clues for you to figure out what their pen name is. So now that you have this information, what do you do when you find out someone's pen name? Do you tell them? That's totally up to you. I haven't done that, but here's the things that I like to think about as I'm building my KDP business. I research the niche because I want to know, you know, this is interesting. This is their book. What made them decide to do this? And as you research, you will see why they are successful. Take notes about their success and how you might position yourself in the niche that you're interested in. Now, it's interesting because there are some YouTubers I found their pen name and I'm just not really interested in building a book that is like theirs. But I appreciate the opportunity that I had to research the niche and see if it's even something that I, I am interested in. As you research the niche, you can see with your KDP tools, whether it's the Titan extender, um, the Chrome extension or Bookbeam or Publisher Rocket, you can see the opportunity for you to work in a niche. Okay. So I think it's, I think it's interesting. I think it's fun just to kind of see what other people are doing. Take notes on what is working for them, right? Do they have a bestseller? Are they really good at getting reviews? What do the reviews say? There's a lot of things you can learn just by studying about a particular book that's on Amazon. What, you know, this should say what, write down it is it gives to you, forgive my dyslexia. This really helped me to carve out uh, different areas of a niche where a lot of YouTubers are really inspiring me to go out and create something that didn't exist before. And I think that's a really important thing for all of us to do if we have a direct publishing business. And I would say never copy, only model. Copying comes from a scarcity mindset. You're telling yourself you don't think that you're good enough to create something original. You're telling your psyche that it's okay to cheat yourself to success. And there is so much to be learned when you model something. So you see an outfit you like, you go out and find similar clothing and you make it your own, right? When you copy, you are limiting your creativity. I promise you that as a creative artist, I've been there, done that. I grew up trying to figure out who I was. And when I didn't know, I copied people. So stay true to your identity of what your passions are. And if you're really inspired by someone's book that you found, model it, figure out the things that make it amazing. And then write down what can I bring to this book that can make it more unique for me and my audience? Be respectful. Don't leave reviews if you've never bought the book. And don't go and share it with other people because you wouldn't want anyone to do that for you. I've had people leave negative reviews on my book that have not even bought it. And I guarantee they are KDP beginners that are upset that their book's not doing as well. And that's on them. I don't want to live in that type of headspace with that type of negativity. So make sure you're always growing into that growth mindset, that there is enough abundance and wealth and creativity in the world for you to be successful. You don't have to copy people. You don't have to tear people down to become better. So those are kind of my tips for, you know, what we should do when we find someone else's pen name. I'd love to hear tips that you guys have done when you found someone else's pen name. Love you. Peace out.